This is a homework help video for the assignment. I'm going to work out uh, problems five and six uh, from this assignment. And so uh, let's just get right to it. Uh, for number five, I went ahead and uh, drew the given parallelogram PQRS. So save a little bit of time. And now uh, we're going to walk through the two different transformations that need to be applied on this parallelogram. So the first one will be this translation along the vector that's given. So for part A, uh, I'm going to write the ordered pair, ordered pairs that will result from this translation. So after doing this um, translation, point P, I'm going to add, of course, seven to every X coordinate, and we don't do anything to the Y coordinates. So point P is going to be four, negative four. Point Q becomes seven, negative three. R becomes six, negative eight. And S will become three, negative nine. All right, that takes care of uh, the transformation identified in letter A. And I'm going to go ahead and plot those points. And I won't connect them, but we need something to look at so we can um, do our vectors so that we can do part B, the 90 degree counterclockwise rotation about that point, 3, negative 2. So here's 3, negative 2. I'm just going to call that point A. And then uh, I'm going to plot these other points. So 4, negative 4. That'll be, call that P after the translation. 7, negative 3. That's our new Q. 6, negative 8. R and three negative nine. All right, and again, no need to really connect those, but it'll be helpful to uh, see those as we uh, come up with the vectors that are needed. All right, so let's do that now. Um, we'll call this part B, uh, vec vector AP is gonna be one, negative two. One to the right, two down. Vector AQ is one, two, three, four, negative one. A R is one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, three, negative six. And A S. No horizontal component, zero, and then seven down, I believe. Yep, zero, negative seven. Okay, and now we apply the 90 degree counterclockwise rotation rule. So um, for each one of these, so these switch. So arrow, these are gonna switch. And the X is gonna change signs after the switch. Uh, same thing here. Switch and change the X. Switch and change the X. And same thing here. And now I'm going to use these vectors from point A to uh, get my final prime points, the points that would be on the image. 
So from point A, I'm going to go 2 to the right, 1 up, and that's going to be P prime. For Q, I'm going to go right, 1, up, 4, and that'll be Q prime. R, I'm going to go right 6, up 3. It's going to be S or R prime. And S prime, I'm going to go right 7. No vertical move, and that'll be S prime. So we'll go ahead and connect these. This represents the final transformed image. And we just record the ordered pairs for each of those points and we will be done. So P prime uh, looks like that's uh, five negative one. Q prime right here is four two. R prime, way over here, that's, um, let's see, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 1. The S prime is 1, more than that, 10, and negative 2. 10, negative 2. Okay, and so that's your answer for problem number 5. Now let's uh, take a look at number 6. All right, we'll go ahead and sketch the uh, triangle CDE. So C is negative two, negative two. One, negative four. E is negative three, negative four. All right, and so the first thing we'll do is this uh, dilation with scale factor of four centered at negative one, negative three. So let's plot negative one, negative three. Right there. Okay, and I'll just call that point P. So just kind of like we did before, uh, we got to come up with our vectors. Uh, so we'll start with vector PC. That is left one, up one. And then vector PD is right two, down one. And PE is left two, down one. All right, so just double check those uh, left and up, and then right to down, and then left to down. Okay, and now we're going to do a scale factor of four for each one of these, and so that turns this into negative four, four. This becomes 8, negative 4. And this becomes negative 8, negative 4. All right, and so that's what we use for the, um, to come up with the points before we do the reflection. All right, so let's travel in these three different directions, these three different vectors from point P. So to get to the new C, I'm going to go left 4, up 4. All right, so that'll be the new C after that. And then D, I'm going to go right 8. Down 4.
and E is left eight down four. All right, and so it's from these points that we, and maybe we'll just go ahead and write the coordinates, then we have to do the reflection in the line y equals negative x. Okay, so remember y equals negative x. I'll just do a little sketch. Looks like this. All right, so to do the y equals negative x reflection, we flip the coordinates and then we change the signs of each, okay? So let's get the coordinates first. So uh, C is gonna be one, two, three, four, negative five, one. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, negative nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. D is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, negative seven. All right, so we're just about ready. And so uh, for C, we will flip and change. So when we flip, maybe a different color here, I'm getting a lot of colors. Let's see if this will show up pretty well. When I flip this, I get one negative five, and then I change both of the signs. So that's what is going to be required for a reflection over y equals negative x. So negative one, five. And that's going to be the final answer there for C prime. All right, so same thing here for uh, D prime. I, f I switch them. And I change both of the signs. So negative 7, negative 7, uh, that ends up being on the same, that's actually the same point. So 7, negative 7 is going to be D prime. And then E prime, same thing, we just switch. Change, so it's going to be 7, 9. That will be E prime. All right, we'll now connect these uh, green dots and this will represent our transformed image. So I'll do my best to draw straight lines here. But I think you get the picture. I didn't hit that one very well, but you can see uh, these are the coordinates of C, D, and E prime. And then you can see there's our finished uh, graph after the two transformations have been applied. So that is your answer for number six. And um, I hope that helps with the other four problems. But if you still have questions about this, uh, as usual, you can always uh, let me know. And I will see you next time.